Collect your crayons and gather your googly eyes because today, three teams will face the ultimate craft challenge. What will they make and who will take home the grand prize? There is only one way to find out. This is the Big Fun Crafty Show. Hey, I'm your host, Carly, and I cannot wait to meet today's crafters. Come on out, teams! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, we have Daniele and Adriano in the house. Meet Adriano. He loves to play in the snow and in his free time, plays video games. His brother and teammate Daniele has a passion for painting and also thinks playing hockey is pretty great. Adriano, can you tell me a little bit about why you guys wanted to do this show together? Oh, because we don't really usually do that many things together. So I think it's gonna be a great bonding experience for me and him. Oh, that's so sweet. Ladies, hello over here. We've got Malia and Georgia with the moose. Georgia is a pro at the aerial silks. And why choose just one color? She loves all the colors of the rainbow. Her partner, Malia, is a big fan of school, especially math and English. And she loves to sing, dance, and act. What are some of your favorite things to do together? We love baking cakes and cupcakes. I really like eating the cakes, too. Yes, the eating best. is the best part. <laughs> Valerie and Scheherazade, nice to meet you. Hi. This is Valerie. She loves to ride horses and in her spare time likes to do community theater. Her partner, Scheherazade, plays a mean violin and the color pink is her absolute favorite. What are the different skills that you guys bring to this craft table? Well, I like getting messy, you know, putting it all together. Cool. I'm more of like the artsy side of it. I like to sketch and paint. Which is gonna work really well for today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we ask creative kids like you to send us your craft requests. Let's meet today's craft challenger. Hi crafters, I'm Molly. Robots are my favorite thing in the world, so I want you to make me the ultimate robot. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I love cool techie gadgets, the color purple, and I love my robots really weird. Good luck, have fun. How are we making a robot? How are we gonna make a robot? I've never made a robot before. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Teams, no matter how much Malik loves each and every one of your crafts, there can only be one winner, and the winning team is going home with this. So this is our big, fun, crafty crate. It is powered by Craftsy, and it is full of everything you need to keep on crafting. It's super cool because you have so much things to use. Everything you'd ever imagined, put into one. First things first, every creation starts with a plan. Yes. So remember, Malik wants his robots weird, inspired by the color purple, and cool tech gadgets, okay? So take a moment right now, use your whiteboards, and dream up your masterpiece. Plan away! Um, like tin foil, tin foil. How's the planning and going? We're drawing just a rough drawing of what nice. we can start creating. What are you gonna use for the arms over here? Paper towel rolls. Of nice. What we can start. We need to remember purple, okay? We could use those squiggly things for the arms. We definitely need those like those control. Are definitely weird. What is happening? This guy is gonna be ready to go out for a night in the town. Are okay. you kidding me? I love it. Dude, write this down. Take notes. One second. Okay, we need. They don't need ball. me. I'm just gonna walk away. We can do the styrofoam balls for like big eyes. Oh yeah. Talk me through your plan. We want to give them like kind of disco ball belly Very to, to make it cool. like. Very cool. Are those eyeballs yeah. along the feet? No. Okay, okay, okay. Pom poms. Just pom poms. Pom -poms. Okay. Yeah. It's getting weird in here. I'm seeing three very different robots being developed in this planning That's stage. Okay. What is going to happen next? Teams. Perhaps you've noticed the awesomeness that is behind me, presenting the Wall of Wonder. <laughs> These shelves contain everything you need to make the techiest, weirdest, purpliest robots ever. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of craft supplies. 
the wow factor was definitely there. Here's how this is gonna work. Only one person from your team can go up to the wall of wonder at a time. You can go back and forth as many times as you want. You can carry as much stuff as you want. When I looked at the wall, I could see things that were just perfect. Grab everything that you think we may need to use. There's no wrong answers, right? We're only gonna have two minutes, so you gotta make them count, okay? Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. To be fair, blue team, you are the furthest from the wall, so you're gonna go first. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, let's do this. Blue team, go. Orange team, go. Green team, go. Yes. And they're off. The purple light. We need to grab a lot of stuff. Glitter. Glitter. We need. You need tin foil. Let's... He grabbed bubble wrap, thinking that it was tin foil. Okay, it looks like it's metal. Oh, it now I get what you mean. The, yeah. the tin foil that mom like wraps stuff with it. Yes. You have one minute. Come on. We no, have hair to buy. The hair bun's a styrofoam piece, the circuit. <laughs> Just take it all. Take it all. Cut that I don't know what to do. You have 30 seconds. We need a Hey, you have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to your stations. Oh no! What? We forgot the body. We forgot the body. The main part. You didn't get the cardboard box. Why did you get bubble wrap? Just in case. Okay. Okay, teams, you have 45 minutes to make these robots, and the clock starts now. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Do you have ideas? What could we make for the body? I don't know. Dude, this could be the body. Oh yes, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. That would be awesome. We're doing this. Whoopsies. Which team will build the top bot? We'll find out soon. But first, yep. for everyone at home making stuff, let's check in with our craft expert, Cody. Look. Cody loves a cool crafting tip, and so do I. Thanks, Carly. Okay, let's say you want to take a plain old cardboard box and make it look shiny and sparkly like metal. Well, my favorite trick is to use tin foil. Just wrap foil around the sides, tape or glue down the edges, and check it out. Your box could now be a rocket ship or even a time machine. Or perhaps this robot. Whatever your imagination dreams up. Now that's a big fun crafty tip. So today, Malik challenged our crafters to make the ultimate robot. He loves his robots weird, full of techie gadgets, and very purpley. Our teams were given 45 minutes to complete their craft. Let's see how they're doing. Oh my God, Tiziano, I just blobbed all of that on the floor. There was glue all over the place now because he had been pouring it everywhere. But that isn't the only sticky situation Team Blue is in. We can't do anything because we don't have the body. You have to attach the head to the body, the legs to the body, the arms to the body. So it's basically like the uh, one of the main parts. The body's right here. Daniel, the body is not a calculator. What is it? It's a big piece of like cardboard and then we put the calculator in it. I, I don't know what else to make. We're stuck. I was stumped. The back is like... Beautiful, right? Hey, feng shui. Feng shui. Feng shui. It means like feng awesome, shui. amazing, like funky. It just all fits together. Shways together. The mohawk's pretty. I need That's to... cool. That's okay, my dude. We're working with what I got it. Oh. Nice catch. The robot wasn't very stable in the beginning. It just kept like going. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> While Team Green is trying to get their robot to stand up, Team Blue is trying to figure out how to catch up. Team Blue, where's your robot? Yeah, see, what happened was, when we went to the wall, we forgot to get the body because we were so rushed in getting everything else. Could you make the body out of something that you have here now? You got a lot of great stuff from the wall. Uh, I think Wait, we could. I have an idea. Put I the a, helmet I on him. I'll glue this together. Danielle, let me do it. Put it on there. I know it's not exactly what you planned, but sometimes you gotta make it work, you know? Yep. It's looking like Team Blue is finally underway. But over at Team Orange, things are coming undone. 
Dude, I need tape. It's not sticking. We worked with it, yeah, though. Yeah, we worked with it. Dude, this is looking awesome. I did the ribbon, like, around the, for the neck. I had to cut out holes for the eyes, because they I had to stick the lights through. You got Paid it. off. Hi, Team Green. Hi. Hi. Tell me about this robot. Oh my goodness, please don't knock it over. Yeah. Is this the hair? Yeah, so and this, this, is this hat is just perched atop? Yeah. So this is kind of like a dancing, kind of, you know, like disco robot. I should give it some whiskers. His name was Buddy, Buddy the Cat. Okay. We're thinking of cat names. Oh, it's so cute. I need to paint the cup purple. Yeah, paint the cup purple. We could work on that for now. I love painting. Sparkle. Glitter. Glitter. Yes, there was glitter. Glitter all over Every the table. Way. Glitter for everybody. Glitter. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? You're wasting our materials. Yeah, let's stop Please. it. Brotherly love only goes so far. <laughs> the, the cup is full. She's like stirring a bunch of stuff. It's like, what is that? He's like, it's the drink. Hey, that's enough. That's enough. No, wait. No. I don't lose stick. No. Stop. <laughs> the drink was supposed to be a small detail. Like, you spent like 15 minutes just making that. Look at this. Daniela, do you want to help? It was pretty frustrating working with him. I'm adding some pom poms into his drink. <laughs> but you know what? He's my brother. It seems like each team has had their fair share of glitches. <gasps> Look at the arms. Oh no, one fell off. Woo! Got it. I think it might be time to add some upgrades. Hey, hey, hey you oh. know what that means. Hands down, crafters. It is time to take these crafts to the next level. We call this the curveball. <laughs> Inside this ball is a tricky twist that you have to tackle as part of today's challenge. Oh no. What's it gonna be? Let's find out. For today's challenge, you need to incorporate nature materials into your robot. The curveball? It was kind of nerve wracking. We've put a ton of different nature materials out on the wall of wonder. Yes, that's right. You are going back to the wall. I was excited for the curveball to go back to the Wall of Wonder and get ourselves a body. This time, you're only gonna have one minute to grab all the nature materials you can carry and anything else you need to make these robots even more awesome. Before we get started, take a moment to plan. You know our original plan yeah. with the flower? We need to add that back. See those twigs? Get the twigs for the antenna? I have to get the real body this time. We have to restart it, though. Back. Today, Malik challenged our crafters to make the ultimate robot. Everybody was on a roll until we threw out the curveball. For today's challenge, you have to incorporate nature materials into your robot. Okay, teams, you will have one minute at the Wall of Wonder to grab your nature materials and anything else you need to complete your robot. Remember, only one person from your team can go to the wall at a time. To be fair, blue team, you're furthest from the wall, so we're gonna start with you. Is everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Blue team, go. Orange team, go. Green team, go. Okay, get the wall. Remember, get this, get the pine cone. I was like, nature things, no other things, nature things. Come on, come on. Let's switch. <laughs> you have 45 seconds. Go, dude. Take the whole thing. Okay. Handfuls, people grab handfuls. Just get the mud. Okay, take, take more nature. than you need. Hustle, hustle, hustle. We just stuck to getting the nature stuff, and we got a lot of nature stuff. I can grab it. Your last chance at the wall. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We have to go back for several things that we needed that we hadn't already gotten on the first time. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to your stations, teams. Okay, teams, you have 15 minutes to complete these robots, and the clock starts now. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go quickly. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. So I'm like, Daniele, paint the box purple. We can do this. I'm gonna attach, 
we just kind of took the nature things on the wall and finished a robot with that. So we took sticks and put moss yeah. on the end and went like, put it like right here. The antennas, they wouldn't stay put. Yeah, they wouldn't. But it's not just Team Green trying to figure out how to make their design stick. All right, we need to somehow glue it like this. How are we gonna do that? Tape, I'll use duct tape. Okay, who needs more? Team Orange, okay. is this robot ready for the club? We kind of changed our story. Oh, you did? Oh, tell me the new story. Okay, he has special powers and he grows nature, right? That's incredible. So he is going to use his power to grow this tree. With the curveball, the nature thing, it, it just totally made it. made it. It made it. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Team Orange's robot is really growing on me, but it looks like Team Blue is trying to get ahead. We're gonna make this the head. Wanna glue it H sideways? We, yeah. Okay, we'll have to rip some stuff off. Oh yeah, like that. To make it look like he's on a sling. Green team, did you put a feather in his cap? Yeah. Huh. That was me. That was <laughs> we, we were Dude, this tree is looking cool. Ooh, I'm digging it but this moss is getting everywhere. Wow. When we brought the moss out, it was like shedding like a cat. The, know, was the like moss everywhere. was everywhere. It got all over me. With only five minutes left, the teams are racing to the finish, and Team Blue could be making a comeback. Team Blue, you have a robot. Yeah, it looks way better than it did before. <laughs> it looks really, really good. You now have a body. Does he have a name? His name is Billy Bob. His name is Billy Bob. I like to call him Bill. He's smart because he has a calculator in his body. It's his heart. His heart is a calculator. I love that so much. No! Oh, that was a close one. Whew. You guys came a long way over here. I'm super proud. It's definitely weird. Great. Best robot ever. Teams, you have one minute to complete your craft, so put your finishing touches on your robots now. Oh, no, we're out of glue. We need another glue stick. Oh, set, set, set. Later. Put Never fingers, steady. steady hands. You've got this, crafters. Hurry, let's get it working. Just finishing touches. He, he needs help. You have 10, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, crafters, hands down. Nice work, everybody. High fives, high five it out. Oh, we finished, oh my gosh. It is looking good. I'm proud of us. I'm very proud of us. Oh, yes. We had such a fun time making the craft. Your challenge today was to make the ultimate robot. Malik likes his robots weird with purple and lots of cool techie gadgets. But before we can announce the winner, each team has won a big, fun, crafty award. Oh, yeah. Team Blue. I can't even count the number of ways that your robot is amazing, but if I wanted to, I could use its calculator heart. That was such a creative idea. That's why you get the award for the most clever craft. Yay! Team Orange, instead of using the curveball simply as decoration, it became a part of your robot's story and now it has the superpower to make nature grow? Amazing. For that, we present you with the award for best use of the curveball. Well done. Wow. Yay! Good job! Oh, a... Team Green, this robot looks like it knows how to have a good time. There is a disco ball in its belly. I mean, come on. So for this, we present you with the award for the most playful craft. Congratulations. <laughs> but there can only be one winner. Who will it be? Stick around and find out right after Cody shows you how to make your very own robot in three easy steps. Hi, crafters. Cody here with a one, two, three easy craft. Step number one. We gotta make a robot body, and for that, we're going to wrap a cardboard container in foil. Next, attach a party cup using strong tape attached on either side. We're in a sticky situation here. Step number two, add some funny arms using party horns. And of course, pipe cleaners do make for great antenna. I'm getting some good reception with these. Next, attach two large buttons to either side of a foil-wrapped block. And of course, your robot will need some eyes to see where he's going. 
Looking good. And step number three, create a control panel. I'm using buttons and shiny paper to make mine. I'm calling mine, you guessed it, Robotty. I will clean up your room and walk your dog. Oh, thanks, Robotty. You're the best. And that's it. Easy as one, two, three. Today, Malik challenged you to make a robot that is weird, purple, and full of cool techie gadgets. And then for today's curveball, we asked you to incorporate nature materials into those robots. And I have some exciting news. Our craft challenger, Malik, is here in the studio right now. We just finished reviewing your crafts. Malik, come on out. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Malik, what do you think? These are all so amazing. I want them all. Ah, uh, me too. I want them all. But only one team can win the grand prize. It has all come down to this. So, Malik, are you ready to announce the winner? Yes. I thought we could have won because we did make a pretty good comeback. The robot was the weirdest yep. one there. We got this. So oh my nervous. Gosh. Oh, my goodness. The winner is team... Orange! Oh, you both win a big fun crafty break! Congratulations! We won. We won, dude! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something you buy from the store to put on your shelf and decorate your room. Orange was by far the coolest. They did fantastic, and I think everybody did. Keep making cool stuff, and we will see you next time on the Big Fun Crafty Show! Yeah!